This is a 2mm snail. Now, it looks pretty much like your average snail, but this guy is old, really old. The reason this snail is so well preserved is that it's trapped in amber. Remind you of anything? Amber waited for millions of years with the mosquito inside until Jurassic Park scientists came along. Using sophisticated techniques, they extract the preserved blood from the mosquito and bingo. Dino DNA. Amber is a fossilized tree resin. Contrary to popular belief, it's not sap. Sap is basically sugar water that circulates through a plant's vascular system. It's used for things like maple syrup. Resin, on the other hand, is the semi-solid organic substance stored in the outer cells of trees. When a tree or branch is cut, then this resin oozes out and clogs the injury. Just like how blood clots a wound, so we don't bleed to death. Over millions of years, this resin undergoes a fossilization process and becomes amber. So if a mosquito wasp fly, or in our case this little snail, is lucky enough to get stuck in and surrounded by the resin, then they become relics for us modern humans to examine, or make YouTube videos about. Anyway, why don't you go ahead and take a guess at how old this little guy is? If you guessed a couple thousand years old, then you're way off. If you guessed a couple million years, then you're still not quite there. Turns out that this tiny snail has managed to be perfectly preserved for what scientists estimate to be 99 to 110 million years. So now, let's go ahead and do what we do best and put all of this into some mind-boggling perspective. First off, it was also during this period in time, known as the Cretaceous period, that some of the most famous dinosaur species walked the earth, such as the Velociraptor, the Triceratops, and the infamous T-Rex. As a matter of fact, this very snail could have crawled along the back of a dinosaur. Now, if that doesn't get your brain juices flowing, then let's just think about time for a moment. How long actually is 100 million years? The entirety of what we base our AD calendar on has happened only in the past 2,000 years. Think about all the wars, historical people, kings, queens, knights in shining armor, the Vikings, the discovery of the Americas, and the rest of the world, etc. All in the past 2,000 years. That's just a minute 0.00002% of time since our little snail friend fell victim to that nasty tree resin. To put that into perspective, let's look at a standard American football field. I know you mind scopers are a smart bunch, but we're going to go ahead and slow down so that we can all process everything carefully. Let's say that the length of the field from the end zone line to the other end zone line equals 100 million years. On this timeline, that means that each yard, or 0.9144 meters, is the equivalent of 1 million years. This, of course, also means that each inch equals 27,777.78 years. That means that all of human history since the birth of Jesus Christ would scale in just under 2 millimeters of our football field. Picture yourself standing at the end zone line of a football field, and you're looking across the football field at the other end zone line. That huge space in between you and the other end zone line represents the time from when the snail lived until now. Two millimeters in front of you is the scaled down visual of our entire AD human history. Two millimeters is about the length of the tip of a crayon. That's one really old snail. If you've seen or heard of other ancient creatures trapped in amber, let us know in the comments below. Also, please let us know what you'd like to see in future videos. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome videos.